Believe it or not, there are countries where older women will pay you to marry and even have sex with them. It's a provocative statement, isn't it? But it's a reality that challenges our conventional understanding of relationships, love, and intimacy. In a world where societal norms heavily influence our perspectives, acknowledging such truths can be unsettling. But today, we're peeling back the layers of this controversial topic. Brace yourselves, because we're about to dive into this unconventional world. Age gap relationships are not new. They've been around for centuries. Let's delve into the heart of the matter. Age gap relationships, they're a phenomenon that's as old as time itself. Picture the classic narrative. An older, affluent man paired with a much younger woman. This image has been ingrained into our collective consciousness, reinforced by countless tales from history and popular culture. Look back at the annals of history and you'll find such relationships were commonplace. Monarchs, nobility, the rich and powerful, age was but a number in their pursuit of companionship, power or simple lust. But it's not just a relic of the past, it's a narrative that continues to play out on the world stage. Step into the glitzy realm of Hollywood and age gap relationships are as prevalent as ever. From silver screen legends to music industry moguls, it's a trend that shows no signs of slowing down. The age old narrative persists. The older man and the younger woman, a tale as old as Tinseltown itself. But it's not just the glitz and glam of Hollywood. It's happening in our neighborhoods, in our workplaces, amongst our friends. It's more common than you might think. In fact, according to a study by Emory University, the most successful relationships are those with a significant age difference. However, societal acceptance of these relationships is a different story altogether. While some view them as a symbol of love transcending the barriers of age, others perceive them under the lens of power dynamics and exploitation. It's a topic that sparks debate and controversy, a subject that's as divisive as it is intriguing. But hold on to your hats, folks, because the narrative is shifting. It's no longer just about older men seeking younger partners. The paradigm is changing and the tables are turning. Women are stepping into the spotlight, rewriting the rules and challenging societal norms. But what if we told you it's not just men seeking younger partners? The tables have turned. There are seven countries where older women are known to pay younger men for companionship and more. Let's take an intriguing journey around the globe to these seven countries, each with its unique culture, societal norms, and reasons behind this trend. First on our list is the sunny climes of Spain. In this country, where the siesta is as much a part of life as the fiesta, it's not uncommon for older women to seek the companionship of younger men. This trend is deeply rooted in the culture of freedom and openness that Spain is known for. Next, we head east to the land of sushi and samurais, Japan. The societal norms here are quite different from those in the West. While Japan is known for its respect for the elderly, it's also a place where older women often find themselves lonely and seeking the company of younger men. Our third stop takes us to the United States, a melting pot of diverse cultures and ideologies. The reasons behind this trend here are multifaceted ranging from the desire for a more youthful energy to the societal pressure to maintain a youthful appearance. From there, we jet off to the vibrant and colorful country of Brazil. Known for its lively festivals and passionate people, it's no surprise that older women in Brazil are more open to the idea of being with younger men. Then we make our way to the romantic city of lights, France. Here, love knows no age. It's a place where the romance between an older woman and a younger man is seen as just another form of love, not a societal taboo. Next, we head to the land down under, Australia. The laid-back and friendly culture of Australia lends itself to more open-minded views on relationships, including those between older women and younger men. Finally, we journey to the beautiful landscapes of South Africa. Despite its tumultuous history, South Africa is a country where the unconventional is often embraced, including relationships between older women and younger men. It's a reality, and it's happening right now. But why? Why are older women willing to pay for companionship and sex in these countries? It's a question that's been circling around in our minds, isn't it? Well, let's dive into the reasons behind this trend. First off, there's the undeniable factor of loneliness. Many of these women are either widowed, divorced, or single, and they're looking for companionship, someone to share their life experiences with. It's not just about sex, it's about having someone to talk to, someone to hold, 
someone to make them feel less alone in the world. Then there's empowerment. In a society that often values women mainly for their youth and beauty, there's something liberating about being the one who calls the shots. These women are embracing their desires, their needs and their financial independence. They're flipping the script on traditional gender roles and in doing so, they're reclaiming their power. But it's not just about loneliness or empowerment, we're also seeing a shift in the dynamics of relationships. Traditionally, men have been the providers, the protectors, the ones in control. But as gender roles evolve and as women gain more financial independence, they're beginning to redefine what a relationship can look like. And let's not forget about the allure of the exotic, the thrill of experiencing something new and different. There's an element of adventure in these relationships, a sense of stepping out of one's comfort zone and into the unknown. However, it's crucial to mention that not all of these relationships are purely transactional. Genuine affection and love can blossom in the most unexpected of circumstances. After all, the heart wants what it wants. These are just some of the reasons behind this trend. But remember, every woman, every relationship, every story is unique. There's no one-size-fits-all explanation. It's a complex issue with no black and white answers. This leaves us with a burning question. Is this ethical? A moral conundrum indeed. As we delve into the ethical implications of such age gap relationships, we find ourselves navigating murky waters. On one hand, we have two consenting adults, a criterion which for many is the be all and end all of any relationship's legitimacy. However, it's essential that we look beyond this surface level consent. We must ask ourselves, are these relationships truly consensual in their entirety? Are these older women perhaps desperate for companionship? unwittingly exploiting the economic vulnerability of younger men? Or are these men, driven by financial need, exploiting the emotional vulnerability of older women? Is this a mere transactional arrangement masquerading as a relationship? Moreover, we cannot ignore the societal implications. What does it say about our society when relationships are fueled more by economic need than mutual affection? Are we normalizing exploitation or are we simply acknowledging a reality that has always existed, but remained unspoken? This is a complex issue, one that defies simplistic moral judgments. It's a reflection of our times, a mirror held up to our societal norms and values. It's a debate that goes beyond the realm of personal choice and delves into the fabric of our society. The debate rages on, and it's up to you, our viewers, to form your own opinions. In this ever-changing world, Societal norms are constantly being challenged. We've taken you on a journey today, exploring the reality of age gap relationships and the seven countries where older women are willing to pay for companionship and even marriage. We've delved into the reasons why this happens, the economic, social and personal factors at play. And we've asked the hard questions, grappled with the ethical dilemmas these situations present. It's important to remember that every culture, every society has its own norms and values. It's easy to judge from the outside, but understanding and respect are key. The world is a diverse, complex place, and these are the stories that make it so. We hope we've given you food for thought, that we've sparked a curiosity in you to learn more, to question more. This is a conversation that needs to be had, and we're glad to have started it here. Until next time, stay open-minded and stay curious.